It's week six on ESPN. The Steelers come into today's matchup featuring an impressive secondary. Thanks to them, their pass defense is ranked just inside the top ten at number nine in the NFL. They will be the slight underdog as they match up versus the Bengals who come in with a plain bad passing attack. This may be an area that could make or break them today. We'll see how it unfolds with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe out in Cincinnati. Hello, it's a bright and shiny day for football here at Paul Brown Stadium. I'm Dan Stevens with Peter O'Keefe. Glad to have you with us. Peter, let's go over your picks for today. Dan, here you've got a phenomenal coach and someone with hopes of taking the game away from him. Dick LeBeau has produced a good passing offense, and he's not afraid to use it. Look for him to go to the air early and often. James Ferrier comes in looking to cause a ruckus, and he's not going to walk off this field until he's made his mark. Here are his stats. Defensively this season, he's averaged two tackles and a sack every other game. Thanks, Peter. Let's go midfield, where the team captains are ready for the coin toss. We'll take heads. Heads is called. Call. It is Phil. The Bengals elect to receive, and we're ready to start the game. off and we'll start up at the 20. Let's see what their O does this time out. Bang. First and 10. Dylan with the ball. Tip oh. on. It's second and about three. Don't get me in, baby! Don't get me in! Dylan will <laughs> Good tackle by the second-year man out of Georgia. Peter, let's look at the Bengals starting off there. First up, the offensive line. Lee Anderson brings size and power to this line, and they are ready for battle. Up now are the receivers. Darnay Scott generates a lot of excitement with his aerial theatrics. So far this season, he's averaged 39 yards on four catches a game. And lastly, the man who calls the plays and the guys who back him up. Corey Dillon grabs a lion's share of the attention. On the ground this season, he's averaged 66 yards and just under a touchdown a game. Okay, back to the action. It's third and two. Short yard, play tight knees. They have two tight ends in. Dylan again gets it. Right. Picks up five and the first. Peter, let's go over the starting defensive players for the Steelers. Up first is the defensive line. Casey Hampton shows tremendous heart, and the other linemen respect that. That's followed by the linebackers. Jason Gilden pulls together all the loose ends and reads the quarterback size like a book. And last but not least, we have the secondary. Chad Scott shadows his receiver like he's glued to him. Let's get back to the game. Ball at the 33-yard line. They line up with their tight end left. The Bengals still stay with the run. Corey 
Dillon. Makes a quick adjustment to evade a would-be tackler. Get a load of this. Oh, that was a close call, but that last second leap left the defense grabbing it there. A surprisingly agile move, Peter. He nearly got dropped on that play. Ball on the 44. Gets it up. Incomplete. Henderson was slow getting off the field on that play. And when we find out what the problem is, of course, we'll pass it along. The pass is incomplete. Bang. Second and ten. is incomplete. Scott got knocked a bit and was having a hard time getting to the sidelines on that play. We'll keep an ear out for his status and give you information as soon as possible. Third and ten. They come out in the shotgun. From the go. Throws. the field earlier in the game but now we know why let's go to michelle westfall on the sidelines michelle he looks to be hobbling around on a sore quad however he should be able to return to the game well it's nice to hear he's okay but someone is going to have to take up the slack for the rest of the game harris comes in and will punt it away it's away oh yeah no field Time for the O to get to work. Let's check it out. It's first and ten. Got a long way to go, baby, and a lot of beat. Single back formation. Bettis with the carry. Played some aggressive offense there that paid off. Watch this. Boom! He, he just went for it. Well, that shoulder charge really made the play happen, and I don't see him punching through otherwise. Oh, yeah. Sacrificing the body. You can't coach that. Ball at the 38-yard line. Watch for the run! Watch for the run! Slow down! Slow down! Double touch! Bettis with the ball. Great tackle by the five-year man out of Northeast Louisiana. Peter, let's go over the starting offensive players for the Steelers. Let's begin with the offensive line. Alan Fenega shows up to play on every down, Dan, protecting his quarterback at any cost. Next up, the receiving core. Heinz Ward can break the game wide open when he gets the ball. So far this season, he's averaged 65 yards on five catches a game. Last but not least, we have these three gentlemen. Jerome Bettis gives this trio its punch. On the ground this season, he's averaged 75 yards and just under a fumble a game. Back to the field now. Third and four. They line up in the eye. Barely gets it off. It's caught on the flat. Terrific extra yardage after the catch. Nice play picking up the first. Mark Bruner steps up when the chips are down on third, baby. There's the catch. Shy of the first. So he guns it for the first down. This guy will break tooth and nail for the yards he needs. Ball on the 46. They go with the I formation. Lost of one. Peter, let's 
look at the Bengals starting defense. First up, the defensive line. Justin Smith is who I'll be checking out from this group. He energizes this squad in a big way. Up now are the linebackers. Takeo Spikes knows whether it's a run or a pass before the rest do. Finally, Peter, the secondary. Artrell Hawkins blazes up and down the field and stays in hot pursuit, baby. Now back to the game. It's second and 11. Three receivers in. Stewart drops back. Throws. And a right away, but there's enough yards there for the first. First down. He sends a telegram to his man for the completion. Take a look. There's the throw right to it. This passing offense spends so much time in practice running plays and patterns that it's it's almost instinctive at this point. It's first and ten. Tight end is lined up on the right side. Right, a game of two. Got a few yards there off the first down carry. You can't underestimate the value of getting positive yardage on first down. the end of the first quarter and it's still 0-0 ball at the 42 yard line They barely get to the game of 10. Cordell Stewart rolled the dice there with a pass into double coverage. But he got it in there. Great throw. Peter, that's the kind of decision that does not foster good quarterback coach relations. Absolutely. The coach has to be happy with the result, though, you know, once he started breathing regularly. Ball on the 32. High formation. Oh. Read that play all the way and made the stop the behind the line. Dan, that was a perfect example of how to dismantle a run to the outside. Perfect execution by the D. It's second and about 13. You've got a long way to go. Long way. Long way. Ward goes in motion. Goes. That will bring up third and long. Cordell Stewart led his man by way too much on that play. That is unless his receiver was on a scooter or something. It's third and about 13. Now he's not out. Four wide receivers on the field. Stewart drops back. Fourth down coming up. Perhaps around seven yards there, but unfortunately still short of the first. Peterson and put his team on top with this kick here in the second quarter. It's up. He makes the field goal. Todd Peterson nails it for three. Great kick. It's all about focus. Without question, Peter. You know, he's got to factor in things like wind and weather, but ultimately it just, for him, comes down to the ball and the uprights. The Steelers put the first points on the board, 3-0. to zero. Peterson lines up.
signals, and we're ready for the kickoff. There's the kick. Keaton fields it deep. Drag down at the 22-yard line. First down, bingo. Well, this game could go either way, Dan, and that's what makes this drive critical. They'd love to put some points on the board right here. First and ten. These are our fans. Give them some yeah. cheer back. Eight, eight, double side. Scott Central in motion. Kitten takes that. Barely gets it off. is the guy you try to get the ball to in every game. Watch here and see why. A nice catch there, and then he's off. Well, he ends up with a receiver who does, you know, a lot more than just receive, Peter. All at the 47-yard line. Room on the right side. Needed assistance there with a monster of a block. Ooh. Oh, yeah. After that block, the field got a lot less crowded for him. Absolutely, Dan. Sometimes the difference between 2 and 20 yards is just one guy on defense. We have reached the two-minute warning. Hey. First and ten. going with a split backfield. Get the up the back. Throws. man out in central Washington. John Kidna threw a solid pass in the single coverage there. Let's see it again. Right there. Yeah. That, that's a clean pass. That's no open for it to be picked off at all. Yes, sir. He threw a guided missile there. Emphasis on guided. <laughs> he knew exactly where that pass was going. Bang. All at the 14-yard line. Fades back. Goes. Tip. Washington is down after making a great play to come down with the interception. Dwayne Washington dissected that play instantly. It's all about knowing where to make the interception. Check it out. Oh, great job. Absolutely. Great field instincts there, Peter. Field instincts are absolutely crucial, but don't forget, you also need the physical ability to get the ball, too. Well, if they can score on this drive before the half, it could put them in the lead, which is a, a really big boost going into halftime. The clock is at 1 minute, 25 seconds. It's second and 11. Bettis with the carry. Andrew. That will bring up third down. Harry 
Avoided this one just left of center and get some good yards on that second down run. Third and five. Stewart drops back, throws. Penalty marker down on the play. Let's listen to the call. Pass interference. Number 56. Defense. Ryan Simmons gets himself into some hot water with that defensive interference call. It's a fine line, but he stepped way over it. The Steelers get a free first down from the defensive penalty. Simmons gets set after committing the penalty. the 22. Second long, Bennis, leaps over a tackle. That will do it for the first half. The score, three to zero. The ESPN halftime update with Clark Dishman is coming up next. Welcome to the ESPN halftime update. It's time for a quick review of the numbers from the first half of play. The Steelers come into halftime having put the skids on just about all passing yardage in this tightly contested first half. If they continue the pressure, they look to emerge with a W. Dwayne Washington has up to this point defended the pass well with a total of one interception and one tackle. He'll walk away with our ESPN hot at the half player. That will do it for now. I'm Clark Dishman reminding you to tune in to ESPN's postgame show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send you back to Dan and Peter. will kick off to start the second half. Strong kick. Cody out, catches it in the end zone, and he downs it. We will start up at the 20. Close game so far, and even though there's plenty of time left, they'd love to score on this drive. It's first and 10. Complete. Justin Smith throws his zone pretty well on that play, I'd say. Ball at the 20-yard line. Two wide receivers on the field. Ward goes in motion. Stewart got back. Throws. Burris was the intended receiver on that play, incomplete. Cordell Stewart didn't get the ball far enough downfield, just sort of fizzled out on him. Third and ten. Ward in motion. Stewart a barely gets the ball. Maybe and short. Oh, nice pass, but they're just shy of the markers, Dan. Let's see what they decide to do here. Miller comes in the punt after a three and out. Wobbles out of bounds. Not a good kick at all. Well, last time they had it, they turned it over on the interception. Let's see if they worked out the kinks here. Bang! Ball on the 45. You think you're going to score good after that? I don't think so. Hey, double check! Oh. Good takedown by the four-year man out of North.
Northern Colorado. And they tried to get something going with a move to the outside, but the defense was on him like white on rice. It's second and 11. Just like last time, baby. had two guys on him and still made the catch, Dan. Oh, there it is. Coach that. Yeah, and with double coverage, I'm really surprised the pass came his way at all. Bang. Ball at the 40-yard line. D-line got into the batter's box and smacked that one away. Bang. Ball on the 40. Bring it down to nowhere, baby. Yeah. And they're tied in to the left. Barely <laughs> gets it off. It's the 40. John Kidna gets some heat in the backfield. And you have to believe that it caused this pass to not go where he wanted it to. There's the INT right there. The pressure was good, but Peter, that was a nice play on the ball. You got that right, Dan. Great reaction time to snag the ball out of the air like that. You know, Dan, the offense has to make that interception count. Let's see if they can punch this one into the end zone. It's first and ten. Two tight ends on the field. Runs him down and makes the tackle deep in the backfield. Justin Smith puts that play to bed without any supper. What a huge stop. Oh, right there. Womps him for a big loss. It never hurts to throw them for the big one, does it, Peter? Now, if you're messing around that far in the backfield, you deserve it. It's second and 15. several yards on the play. They dump it off over the middle and complete the pass for several, but still a long way to the first. Interesting call coming up. It's third and nine. some extra yards first down and that play was a virtual poo poo platter of great football but here's here's the best part look at that move awesome job I, I, i've got to write that one down in the annals of your food metaphors a poo poo player of platter great, dan platter. platter okay ball at the 31 yard line Drops back. Throws. The 10. Oh, the two yard line. First down. Hind Ward really executed well on that play. Let's take a look. Here's the catch. And it's a good one, but there's no time to celebrate. Nope, because he's already thinking about how much farther he can go. And he goes a pretty long way, Peter.
First and goal. Bettis gets in the end zone, and the offense wins this red zone battle for the touchdown. What a nice little John made it look very easy, Peter. Peterson lines up for the point after. It's away. The extra point is good. The Steelers have extended their lead and make it a two-score game. They're up 10 to 0. Peterson will kick this one away. This is returnable. Keaton gets the ball. Well, they're down a bit, but they have plenty of time to work with. Okay, that being said, they would love to put some points on the board on this drive and Bang. keep it from getting away from them. Ball on the 24. Let's go, guys. Get the fans from the cheer for yeah. Throw, throw, throw. It's right. Brewer right. goes in motion. I got him. Kitten fades back. Throws. completion here. Take a look. There's the throw right in between the numbers. He has lined up just right and they connected to a decent game. Bang. First and ten. They're going with their tight end right. Westbrook in motion. Dylan with the ball. Stop just past the line. It's the end of the third quarter. The Steelers are serving up a shutout 10 to 0. It's second and nine. Yeah! Has a scene. It's out on the 46 yard line. Mike Goff started the ball rolling by delivering a punishing block. Watch this. Ooh, oh, boy. What a nice stop. Took him out of the play altogether. Yeah, he took him so far out of the play, he might need to petition the league to get back in. <laughs> nice one. Bang. Ball at the 46-yard line. Yeah. They're we going with the eye. Yeah. Yeah. drops back. Sits in the pocket. Throws. John Kidman threw a terrific pass there into double coverage. And the right guy makes the catch. When does this guy not throw it? When his receiver is completely surrounded by the entire defense? Well, if there wasn't a challenge to it, it wouldn't be any fun. Ball on the 23. Yeah. Ah, ah, right. Westbrook okay, goes in motion. Alexander dots him right at the line.
second and ten. Get the third and long. Force it. Throws. Got right. Got right. Get the third. Get back. Throws. Washington makes the tackle. That's number two on the day. They cost this one right side and complete the pass, but there wasn't a lot there. The defense reacted to that baby in a hurry. It's now third and six. From shotgun. Throws. First down. The Bengals backed up their fourth first down on this drive. They're moving the ball very well. Kitna from the gun. Throws. Touchdown. Ball hopping. That's taken off and had to head to the bench. When we get the lowdown, of course, we'll let you know. Rackers will line up for the point after. There's the kick. And the extra point. The Bengals cut into the lead and the game can go anywhere from here. The score, 10 to 7. Rackers lines up for the kickoff. This is a beauty. Podiat fields it in the end zone, and he will decide to down it. Well, it's a close game, and time is running out. You have to love these situations. This is a big drive here. First and ten. Three wide receivers on the field. First down. Jerome Bettis made a tremendous run here. Just look at all the yards he's picking up. No one is going to stop him. And no one did stop him. Some people are that's for sure. Fantastic job finding the open lanes. Ball at the 32-yard line. Stewart is all wound up right here and let's loose just in time. Watch this. The slick spin move puts him out of danger. He pulled that move off at just the right time, Peter. That is a tough tackle for anyone. We've reached the two-minute warning. Ball on the 38. They line up in the eye. Will in motion. First time up. But Ohaku was injured a bit ago, and now we have the report. Let's go to Michelle Westfall. Dan, the doctors are saying that he suffered a broken finger. They're going to splint it, tape it, and get him back in the game. Well, it's nice to hear he's okay, but someone is going to have to take up the slack for the rest of the game. It's now third and six. That will bring up fourth down. The Bengals will take a timeout. That's their second. 
Well, once again, they're denied on the run. The O-line is having no luck with their blocking today. And you can bet the ball carriers are paying a big price for it. Miller will punt this one away. Fields the fair catch. Oh, this is a huge drive. They have a chance to tie it up and head into overtime. Hey, it's crunch time, fellas. A minute and 44 on the game clock. Okay, guys, let's take this game. Let's put it in ring. Where's right? There's space on left. With the tackle, his first stop of the game. It's second and five. Dylan with the carry through the left side. It's first and ten. They line up with a split backfield. Michael Westbrook was the man in the middle on that play. Watch this. Oh, great catch. Yeah, and very, very tough to do in double coverage like that. Yeah, you got two guys flipping a coin to see who's going to clean it. Great job by the receiver. Ball at the 42-yard line. Eight, eight, double strike, three, 52. Kitten stays back, throws. His fifth grab on the day. The Bengals take a timeout. That's their final one. Got some nice yards there off the first down play, and that really opens things up a bit for this next one. Just 11 seconds remaining. Rackers lines up for the field goal. Big time. What a crucial kick. A solid field goal ties the game. And he is clearly thrilled to make that one. They needed it badly. Absolutely. The Bengals tie this one up. Bengals. Rackers is back to kick it away. It's away. Podiak has it. A 15. Tackle left the 20 yard line. First down, New Steelers. Biggest drive of the game right here, Dan. They can put this one away if they somehow get into scoring range. Two seconds left. Looks like they're going with the shotgun. Stewart from the gun. Keeps dropping back. No gain on the play. It's the end of regulation, and we are headed into overtime. And it's all knotted up here. 10 to 10. Thank <laughs> you.
We choose tail. Tail control. control. It is head. It is head. It is Signals the referee, and we're ready for overtime. The kick is up. Keaton catches it in the end zone. A 20. Stop at the 28 yard line. First down, Bengals. They came away with three last time, and I'm, I'm kind of curious to see if they can punch this drive into the end zone. All on the 28th. Everybody's looking. He's turned. He's done. Watch wide left. Wide left. Kitten drops back. Throws. The 20. 10. Gets out of bounds after the five yard line. First down, Steelers. Jason Gilden figures out the passing attack and shoots it down with a doozy of an interception. Let's watch. Oh, there it is, baby. And it's not over yet. No, not close, Peter. He tacks on a whole bunch of yards afterwards, and that is some beautiful upfield running. Beautiful. Well, their offense takes the field after that great interception. Let's see if they can capitalize. It's first and goal. Peterson can win it with this kick. Tremendous pressure down on the field right now. away oh, an easy field goal from that range there's the whistle and that's the end of the game the Steelers win a close one 13 to 10 that'll wrap it up for us on behalf of everybody here at ESPN including Peter O'Keefe Michelle Westfall and myself Dan Stevens thanks for spending time with us up next the ESPN post game wrap up Thanks for joining us here on the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The Steelers come away with a close three-point win over the Bengals. They now move to 1-4 and four on the year. The Steelers completely arrested the ground game today. Just look at the statistics. Their front four manhandled the line of scrimmage and was a big part in the win. Dwayne Washington troubled the quarterback with a total of two interceptions and three tackles. He's our ESPN player of the game. And that's all we have for you today. Don't forget to tune in to the weekly wrap-up for this week's scores, highlights, and analysis. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.